Right before I get Bam in here, this is what I wanted to say. Eric the Midget left the most incredible voicemail the other day that I have to play you. Uh, this is where Eric is so angry with Natalie Maines. And you could see that this little guy is so angry. And, and, and by the way, if you are if you are sensitive to adult language, don't listen to this so message. So you have to do a disclaimer. That's how intense this message is. This is Eric the Midget. He's very angry with Natalie Maines. Now he's all involved with Natalie Maines. Every, he's obsessed with Natalie Maines from the Dixie Chicks. Because she came here to view him. Natalie has ruined his life. Yeah, and according to him, the reason the Bunny Ranch whores don't want him anymore is because Natalie Maines ruined it. Someone needs a big yeah. reality check. So when Eric the Midget starts referring to Cherry and somebody else, those are his two whores from the Bunny Ranch that he was banging. <laughs> what I want to do is I want to fuck her, and I want to fuck her so hard that Jeez. she squeals like a little... Wait a second. I think I started this Are you this starting enough. in the middle? Let me make sure. What I want to do no. is I want to fuck her and I want to fuck What it is is he will leave like 10 messages in a row, I guess. Okay. So he's in the middle of a rant and then this... Then and he, he calls to, back. Right. And this is... He starts him about Natalie Maines. What I want to do is I want to fuck her and I want to fuck her so hard that she squeals like a little pig that she looks like. I want to fuck her so hard that it hurts more than, than, it, than she hurt the feelings of Haley and Cherry. That little bitch wants so bad to be my friend, or well, it's going to cost her her butthole in order to be my friend again. Because if she wants to continue to be my friend, that's what it, that's the price that she's going to have to pay. She's going to have to pay with that chubby little butthole of hers. Oh. She's going to end up squealing like the pig that she looks like. Listen to this. So her husband, Mr. Adrian Pazdar, cannot hide her. She cannot hide behind him. It's going to happen. <laughs> oh, my God. So, you know, I was wondering if you've heard anything about that, why she has not gotten on the air yet to apologize. I want an apology out of her big, chubby ass, and I'm going to butt fuck. He's obsessed. Right. Bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for now. Oh, when did that return? Uh, just on that message, I believe. But there it is. Uh, uh, first of all, he's saying disparaging things about Natalie. Secondly, he's obviously in love with her. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why would he want to butt fuck her? And thirdly, if he butt fucked her, he would have to lay on the bed on his back, and and Natalie would have to lower her ass onto him because oh, he really? can't. He couldn't even butt fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> when do you so. think Natalie could fit in apologizing to him? Uh, writing a hit song, uh, taking care of her children, kissing her successful actor husband goodbye in the morning. Uh, you know, do you think she's high up on her agenda to apologize to this little creep? I don't think so. Hey, listen, comb your hair. I think Bam's wife is coming in with him. Really?